What's up guys, it's Cherie, and today I want to share with you all of my favorite brown lip products. I have quite a few to share with you, uh, quite a few. And I, what I'll do is, since they're all different finishes, I will go ahead and start with the easiest to apply and remove and go to the hardest. So I'll start with all my favorite lip glosses, then I'll go to regular stick lipsticks, and lastly, liquid lipsticks. So the first few colors, what I'll do is I will show you the colors swatched on my hand, all the glosses together, and then I'll put them on my lips. So from the drugstore, I have the NYX Butter Gloss, and I have this lip gloss in several different shades because it's just really comfortable to wear, and you know, I mean, it doesn't last long on the lips. You have to definitely reapply, but I just really love them because they're so comfortable and shiny, and they're nice to keep in your pocket and really inexpensive. I want to say they're like $5.99 or something like that. And right next to it, I'm going to swatch. So this was the uh, Butter Gloss in Ginger Snap. And next, I'm going to swatch the NYX Cosme Cosmic Metal. And this one is, it has a number, CMLC14. And I like this one because it's got lots and lots of glitter in it. This is a thicker gloss and it lasts longer on the lips. Now we're moving on to high end and um, these are my absolute favorite lip glosses hands down compared to any other brand that I've ever tried is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. They just last a really long time. I tell you what, I probably have to put them on twice only throughout the day. Um, and sometimes if I don't eat a lot or if I'm not messy, I'll just put it on in the morning and it'll be it for the rest of the day. This is my absolute favorite. It is kind of a more nude natural brown and probably someone would say that it is a nude. This one is toffee, but since my lips are so pigmented, it is technically a brown. I really love this lip gloss and I wear it all the time. Uh, the next one from Anastasia Beverly Hills is Sepia. This one is popular amongst lots of YouTubers. That's actually how I learned about it. I like this one a lot. It is quite a bit deeper, but it's very similar to the NYX lip gloss. So if you don't want to spend $20 on a lip gloss, then you can definitely get the Butter Gloss from NYX for $5.99. But I absolutely love this color. It is a very wearable brown and I would say that most skin tones can get away with this color it's so pretty the next favorite of mine is Tara and this one is another one that's pretty close to my lip color and one that I wear all the time it is so beautiful and it's very rich it just reminds me of like melted chocolate <laughs> I love it so much but as you can see they're all very different um, the next one is Fudge by Anastasia Beverly Hills and Fudge is a little bit got it has a little bit more red in it so pretty and new to the list of favorites is this colored rain lip gloss and this one is in brown sugar now colored rain lip glosses are like Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses in that they last all day long but I will say that they are a little bit thinner they're not quite as thick and sticky but as you can see this one has a little bit more of a gray tint to it and it's so beautiful I love it so much okay so those are all the glosses I'll go ahead and swatch them on my lips for you now so this one is the cosmic metal This one is toffee. This one is sepia. And this one is Tara. And this one is fudge. This one is brown sugar. Okay, so next on the lineup, we're gonna go ahead and swatch some brown lipsticks. And when I say lipsticks, I don't mean liquid lipstick, I mean regular lipsticks. And I'll go with my favorite to, well, they're all my favorites, but um, the ones that I use the most often 
onto the ones that I don't use quite as often. So this first one is actually an Urban Decay lipstick. It is Epigram and it was a part of the uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat collection that came out. Um, I absolutely love this color. It is so gorgeous and it's more of a brick brown. It's so pretty. But I love Urban Decay lipsticks. They're pretty comfortable and the color payoff is really great. But since it is a lipstick, you do have to reapply throughout the day. The next one that I've been loving lately is Amongst the Fireflies by MAC. And this is what it looks like. It is so pretty. As you can see, it kind of has like a peachy undertone to it. But it's a beautiful brown lipstick and it's so comfortable and moisturizing on the lips. Next in the lineup is another really creamy, comfortable lip lipstick. And then this one is also one that has a bit of a more pink tone to it, but it is in the brown family. I love this lipstick so much. This is a Laura Geller lipstick and this is in Central Park Spice. I love these lipsticks too because they have the magnetic closure. <laughs> Anyway, um, the next one up, and these are my absolute favorite because of the way they smell and how comfortable that they are on the lips. Um, these are Bite Beauty lipsticks, and these are the um, Amuse Bouge lipsticks, and this one's Portobello. Um, they are very comfortable and they smell so delicious. And the next one, this is also Bite Beauty, and this one is uh, Porcini. I think that's how you say that. And this one is a lighter brown. It's so pretty and unique. So those are my favorite brown lipsticks. This is Epigram by Urban Decay. Amongst the Fireflies by MAC. This is Central Park Spice. This is Portobello by Bite Beauty. This is Porcini. I think that's how you say it. Porcini by Bite Beauty. Okay, so now we're going to get into the liquid lipsticks and I'll start with my drugstore favorite. It is the Wet n Wild liquid lipstick and it's one of the catsuit ones. This one is in the color Give Me Mocha. It's a very red brown. It's nice. Next up is a Kat Von D lip, liquid lipstick, and this one is in Sanctuary. And this one I like because it's similar to the colored rain in that it's a little bit gray toned. Oftentimes I will layer these lip glosses with these liquid lipsticks. The next in the lineup is a, is a Melted Matte by Too Faced and then this one I believe is Naughty by Nature. Next in the lineup is a Smashbox and I absolutely love this one. This one is more of a brick red brown. And these lip, liquid lipsticks last so long on the lips and they're so comfortable. But it's kind of like an orange brown and I really love it. it kind of reminds me of Adobe. And the color of this one is Out Loud. My last two are a really great formula, very moussey and comfortable. These are Dose of Colors and this first one right here is Cork. And lastly is another dose of colors and this one is Knock on Wood. And this one is more of a nude brown. On me it's a nude but on someone else it might be a brown. So let's swatch those. Okay, so for the sake of my poor lips, I am actually not going to let these dry down to their matte form. I'm just going to put them on and then remove them. This is Give Me Mocha. Sanctuary. This is Out Loud. Naughty by Nature. Knock on wood. This 
This is the last color and it's Cork by Dose of Colors. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.